Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaru. Students, in the recent session, we have completed the topics in light. Okay. So in the light, uh, we have completed up to the mirrors, I think. Uh, let me check spherical mirrors. Completed now. And all the terms, image formation. Is concave convex mirrors, mirror formula, plane mirror, refraction of light also completed. Yes, good. Yes, now we are going to discuss after refraction, we are going to discuss uh, about dispersion of light. Very important phenomena dispersion of light. So what is the dis, uh, dispersion of light? Whenever a white light passes through the prism, okay, if you can consider a prism, whenever a white light passes through the prism, what will be happen? We can observe dispersion of light. We can observe dispersion of light that is the light uh, will be divided into seven colors correct okay seven component colors this is nothing but you can say dispersion of light okay this is nothing but you can say dispersion of light we can observe with gr colors red orange yellow green blue indigo violet okay so what is the dispersion now whenever a white light white light is nothing but mixture of all the colors all the seven colors whenever the white light passes through the prism this prism then that white light will be splitted into its component colors why it is splitted because here, uh, uh, red, orange, yellow, all these colors having different wavelength. Okay, as per the wavelength, they will be divided. They will be dispersed. They will be dispersed. For example, for example, uh, prism is considered as a school gate. Okay, so uh, inside of the school, uh, that is while they give long bell after that what will happen all the students uh, trying to go outside uh, of the school correct so then all are in a one line so all the students are all the children are in one line so whenever those are in one line we can see only the first person correct so here also same if all the uh, colors are mixed together you can see only white light whenever they passed out from the school gate what will happen they will go to their particular house their particular place correct so here also same whenever the white light passes through the prism it will be splitted into number of uh, it will split it into its component colors that is vibgr colors as per their wavelength red having high wavelength wavelength symbol is lambda very important question okay high wavelength but its frequency is less in the same way uh, coming to the down violet wavelength is less but its frequency is more we know the speed of light speed v is equal to f into lambda okay so if the lambda is more frequency is less if the lambda is less frequency is more okay so that means if you uh, in that case what you can understand frequency is less means lambda is more if the frequency is more lambda is less okay that means the product will be a constant the so product will be a constant so speed of light is constant speed of light is constant that means all the colors have same speed all the colors very important question all the colors have same speed 
okay they will move with the same speed but red having more wavelength more wavelength means length is more means we can see the red color from longer distances from longer length uh, if you can consider violet we can we cannot see from longer distances okay from uh, very near only we can see the violet okay so that's why red is used for the danger signals okay danger signals you know very well traffic signals danger signals why because red is visible from longer distances because of its high wavelength okay but our eye is very sensitive to green color very sensitive to green color okay so coming to the dispersion of light note down guys dispersion of light when white light passes through prism it is splitting into its component colors components component colors colors okay so this is called component colors this is called dispersion very important dispersion okay and here we can get seven component colors Seven component colors called which are okay. Here red having more wavelength, more wavelength. Okay, wavelength symbol is lambda, very important. Violet is less wavelength. So it is visible from near distance only. And what about the frequency of the red is less. Frequency of the violet is more. Okay. So V is equal to F into lambda is here uh, V is always constant. So V is constant means all colors move with the same speed. Same speed. Okay. Here red having very important point. Red having more wavelength. So it is visible from from long distance so used for used for danger signals or traffic signals danger signals and traffic signals okay so and also we can get understand from red to wavelength lambda decreases frequency increases from red to violet lambda is decreases and frequency increases so high frequency color is nothing but violet High wavelength color is nothing but red. So we can also get that type of questions also. That is also very important. Okay. So very important. Here one important phenomena is there. That is rainbow. Okay. Rainbow is uh, caused due to dash. That is due to dispersion of light. That is dispersion of light. So rainbow you know very well rainbow a mixture of seven colors rainbow 
form mainly due to dispersion of light. How it will be formed? We know very well. Whenever there is a sunshine and at the, at the same time there is a rain also. Okay. At the same time the rain is also falling. Then what is happening? Each rain droplet, each rain drop acts like small prism. Act like a small prism. Whenever this raindrop act like a small prism, this white light passes through the prism. What will happen? It will be split into number of colors. Split into number of colors. Okay, that is uh, it's seven colors: red, e i b g y o r. Okay, and you can observe in the VIBGR colors mainly what are the colors you can experience. You can see red, orange, violet. So these are uh, colors you can able to see clearly. But what about these? These are very lightly visible. Why? Because its wavelength is less. Its wavelength is less. Okay, its wavelength is more. So that's why those are somewhat of clearly visible. And these last four are somewhat of less visible. Okay, that is uh, due to wavelength. So found mainly due to dispersion of light. So note down here. Rainbow is always formed in the direction of opposite to the Direction of opposite to the sun. Okay. And due to due to the dispersion of light, dispersion of light and the total internal reflection. internal reflection different colors reach to observer the person who observes this okay half light observer and that is a rainbow form. Okay, that is each raindrop act like a small prism. So whenever the light flows through that one, it will be dispersed through its component colors. Okay, so that is nothing but can say dispersion of light. All of you clear about the dispersion of light. Now we are going to discuss the next concept that is nothing but. Um, interference before interference we need to discuss scattering scattering of light here we have one important question in the scattering of light so what is the important question uh, behind the scattering of light why uh, the sky appears as blue color okay sky appears blue in daytime day time correct in night time it is not appears as blue why it is happen because here we have the vibgr colors now in that vibgr colors blue scattered more scattered more than red and other colors okay so blue is scattered more than red and other colors then that's why in the daytime it will be appears as the blue color 
okay but in case of sunshine and the sun uh, sunrise and sun uh, sunrise and sunset in that case what is happening we are seeing from longer distances correct okay so sunrise is in east and sunset is in the west you know very well about that and that is somewhat of far it will be observed a very far so if it is a very far means uh, long distances from the long distances means which color is uh, uh, visible to you red color is visible to you why because red has more wavelength because of red is more wavelength so so uh, is observed that observe red sky okay so that is the reason that is the reason so note down the point here what is the scattering of light the reflection of light the reflection of light from a comparably smaller sized particles you have small sized particles are finally small particles the reflection of light from comparably small comparably smaller size smaller particles particles in all direction all direction if the particles are very small then it will the reflection will be in all the directions okay in all directions he is called is called scattering of light scattering of light okay so here it mainly depends on size of scattering particles scattering particles okay so blue light having fine particles particles so scattered more than scattered more than red in day time okay so so blue is scattered more means so sky appears as blue color as blue color in day time due to scattering of light light okay maximum we may get the portion uh, this one only okay so at the sunshine uh, sunrise and sunset we observe the red color because of red color because of uh, red having more wavelength okay more wavelength now after this we have to discuss uh, interference of the light interference examples are important okay what is the interference of light for example we can observe the soap bubbles are having different colors correct so if you observe uh, in the soap bubbles whenever the light falls on the soap bubble it will be uh, appears like a different colors where vibrant colors radiant colors that is due to interference of the light in the same way in the rainy seasons okay so while uh, vehicles are moving in the road sometimes uh, their eyes somewhat of leaks correct 
after that if there is a rainfall then that uh, oil and the water will be mixed okay okay correct or not so on the upon the water uh, we can observe the oil and that oil colors whenever the light falls on that uh, oil we can observe a very radiant a uh, very vibrant colors correct or not have you observed or not if you observed please give in the comment section okay how many uh, of you uh, observed that one okay so why because they because of the interference of the light so the energy will be redistributed between the two different particles what is a different uh, oil is somewhat of different uh, okay not only oil if you can consider kerosene diesel uh, petrol whatever it may be okay so all those are carbonized oils okay so in that case whenever light fall on that particular uh, oil okay that is mixed in the water then it absorbed that uh, different vibrant or radiant colors so that concept is nothing but interference that is only the important okay so note down redistribution of energy of energy due to superposition of waves is called interference interference okay our interference of light okay. and here when kerosene or oil or oil spread on the water water it seems to be different colors it seems to have decent colors are vibrant are radiant are different colors okay different uh, colors that is due to that is due to interference of light interference okay for example one more interference example soap bubbles soap bubbles have also brilliant or vibrant colors due to interference only interference only okay so after this interference we have to discuss uh, diffraction of light diffraction of light i think the slides completed just to wait Okay, diffraction of light. Diffraction means, diffraction means, light deviates from its linear path. It is nothing but diffraction. Okay, so note down, the phenomena of, the phenomena of bending, of light around the corners corners the phenomena of bending of light around the corners and the spreading of light the spreading of light with 
जियोमेट्रिकल शाडो शाडो ऑफ द अपेक बॉडीज अपेक बॉडीज मींस व्हिच मे नॉट अलो द लाइट अपेक बॉडीज आर अपेक ऑब्स्टिकल्स ऑब्स्टिकल्स इज कॉल्ड diffraction of light okay so you can simply understand this concept is nothing but if the light deviates from its linear path is nothing but you can say diffraction okay so you can simply get the idea light deviates from its linear path is called diffraction where you can observe this uh, diffraction in real time here in case of some high quality microscopes uh, that is show some blurred images okay not only that one if you can consider some high quality cameras only to focus on particular object and what about other objects other objects are showing like a blur how it will be formed that is other objects is nothing but those are uh, generally in the corners around the corners of that particular uh, object or that particular person if you are going to take uh, any photo of any one particular person if you are using very high end cameras that person only visible clearly the other side is showing as somewhat of blur why it is happen because of the diffraction because of the uh, diffraction okay due to diffraction high quality of microscopes so blur images high quality of cameras also so blur images okay sometimes if we shake the camera for example if you are taking the photo and if you shake a little bit also then you will get the blur image correct or not why it is happen because of the focusing is changed okay so the light deviates uh it's a linear path it's a direction so whenever it changes its direction it may not focus it may not focus means you may get blood images okay so that is diffraction of light okay and after that we have to discuss one more concept uh, that is doppler's effect of light so we have already discussed doppler effect of sound same is doppler effect of light also doppler effect of light so same like a doppler effect of sound okay so no don't just uh, it is a very simple just change in frequency is observed okay doppler effect is nothing but change in frequency is observed okay in case of sound or in case of light okay so whenever there is a relative motion between light and source relative motion between source of light and observer observer for the apparent frequency that is imaginary frequency what we feel the apparent frequency of light of light is different from real different from real or different from pro frequency frequency of light same in the speed in the sound we have placed uh, apparent frequency of sound is a uh, different from uh true frequency of the sound here light so place just light instead of sound okay here 
whenever source and observer approach each other whenever the source and observer for example if it is a source of light here we have the observer if this source is moving like this this observer also moving like this then what we can observe uh, change in frequency is positive or apparent frequency is considered as positive so that means apparent frequency is increases apparent frequency increases apparent frequency is increases this is called as a blue shift blue shift in the same way uh, if or whenever source and observer uh, away from each other away from each other okay so he uh, source of light is moving like this observer is moving like this then what will happen so the frequency so both are opposite direction means frequency is increases okay frequency is increases sorry uh, decreases opposite means the change in frequency or apparent frequency is decreases that is it is considered as negative change in frequency is decreases this is called as uh, red shift red shift okay so what we can observe whenever the distance between here simply you can get an idea here what is happening distance is decreases so change in frequency will be increases okay here distance is decreases change in frequency is decreases so we can say uh, here uh, change in apparent frequency is almost inversely proportional to distance between source and observer source and observer okay this is nothing but doppler effect doppler okay so in the next session we will discuss about the lenses uh, concave lens convex lens after that uh, i will give the image formation and after that we will discuss total internal reflection then light will be completed okay light is a very big topic uh, so we have to be patient uh, and we have to complete the session okay but light is very important guys very very important at least one or two questions you can expect from the light okay okay students we will discuss the remaining in the next session all of you thank you so much for watching if you like my class don't forget to click on like option okay